What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe and share if you haven't already. In good faith, that I'll continue bringing you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I said with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so listen. There's been a discussion from the very beginning when I first purchased my firearms like five years ago about whether it's a good idea to trade in your current firearms or if it's not a good idea to trade in your current firearms. So I'm going to give you five reasons why I believe you should trade in your firearms. And then on another video, I'm going to give you five reasons why I believe you should not trade in your firearms. And I have my handy dandy notes. All right. So if I look down from time to time, you already know what it is. All right. So number one, I think it's a good idea to trade in your firearm or barter because you can use it to get other things that you do not have. So for example, you can trade in or barter for ammunition, accessories, parts, things of that nature. So typically when you trade in your firearm to the gun store, they're going to give you a credit. And you can use that credit to get ammunition, to get parts, to get accessories that um, that you can purchase right there at the store. Or if you know someone, you can say, hey, I got this, I don't know, VP9 and I want to trade for this particular optic that you have. Would you like to barter with me? They may say yes, because maybe they already have um, several optics that you can choose from where they don't need the extra optic. And so that you benefit from it. They benefit from the VP9. I'm just using that as, as an example and all is well. Okay, so um, trading and bartering for something that you don't already have is a great idea. All right. Number two, listen, sometimes people need cash right then and there. I think it's a great idea to trade something that you already have for cash on the spot. So for example, um, holidays is coming up, right? Some people's money is funny. You know, sometimes right when the holidays come, here come your check engine light, right? Here come an extra doctor bill. Here come, you know, the electricity have gone up because the heat has been on. So sometimes people are living paycheck to paycheck and they're struggling. So if you have an extra firearm or something of that nature, you might want to go ahead and trade it. Now, again, you're not going to get what it's worth, but if you are in a situation Situation where you're stuck like Chuck and you really need the money it is a good idea to trade a firearm especially if you're not shooting it and it's just sitting there as a safe queen to trade it in for money on the spot all right so that's another reason number three consignment okay if you guys don't know what consignment is it's basically you're going to a gun store you're asking them to sell your firearm for you instead of trading it in to them so for example um if you go there with a glock 19 right and you say hey i'm gonna put this on consignment for 500 dollars," and you know they'll say okay but we're gonna take a cut and i think the cut is around 15 percent ish some stores might do 20 but anyway they'll sell it to a patron for or $500, they'll take their cut and they'll give you the rest of the money. And typically consignment is uh, more um, beneficial for you financially because you're going to get more money than you would if you had traded it into the store, if that makes sense. I'm trying to make it very simple for you guys. So some people will rather put their firearms on consignment, get more money back than selling it to the store where they'll get less money back because remember the store is going to buy it from you uh, for way less than you pay because they have to put it back out there to sell. So they're going to want to make a profit too. So throw it on consignment, get a couple extra dollars. And I think that's a good reason to trade in your firearm. All right. Number four, it's a chance to try something new. Let's just say you have you know, several firearms and you're like, hey, I want to try something new, but I really don't want to come out of pocket to pay six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a new firearm. So you trade in something that you have that you don't shoot often. And so you'll trade it in and then you'll get the other firearm that you're interested in. And so you'll just pay the difference. And again, you're not going to get as much as you pay for the firearm if you're trading it in, but you can trade it to a private party or someone like that where you can get a little more money back and then get the firearm that you want. And when you pay the difference, it's not going to be seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. You're going to pay the difference of what your firearm is worth and what the other firearm is worth, whether it's new or used. And so it's a good opportunity for you to try different firearms that you always wanted to try with paying less money out of pocket, if that makes sense. All right. And number five is last, but certainly not least, but 
let's just say you have a rare firearm or you have a hot firearm that everyone wants. And let's just say for that firearm, you paid $1,000. And now the market is saying, hey, this firearm is worth $1,500, $1,600. Maybe the manufacturer stopped production of it. Or maybe for whatever reason, a celebrity was using it in a movie. And all of a sudden, the, um, the interest in the firearm went up. So now, what you paid, that little thousand dollars you paid, is now worth fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars for the firearm. So you might say, well, you know what? <laughs> I'm not shooting this firearm. I might as well strike while the iron's hot. I'm going to go ahead and sell it and get $1,600 and make a $600 profit. So that would be a good reason why you could sell your firearm uh, while it's still hot. Some people may agree. Some people may not agree. But these are the reasons why. So again, you can trade for ammo and accessories. Um, you can get a couple of extra dollars right around the time where you really need it, maybe holiday season. You can put it up for consignment and make more money than you would if you traded it in. It's a chance to try something new. And if you have a rare or hot firearm and it's time to make money off of it, you can strike while the iron's hot. So those are the five reasons why I believe that trading in a firearm could be beneficial to you. So let me know your thoughts, sign off in the um, comment section. And then on my next video, I'm going to give you five other reasons why I believe that you should not trade in your firearm. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well, treating one another with kindness and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.